Ford and Quadcopter 101 here, and what I got for you today should be actually another neat review. This is the XKX300. Now, viewers of my channel say, oh, you already reviewed that Quadcopter 101. Well, what I've reviewed before was the FPV version, the 5.8 gigahertz FPV version. This one is the base model. Now, the FPV version came with a screen, uh, came with a 5.8 gigahertz camera built into it, um, and it was very costly. <laughs> I think it was like $150, and still is $150. This is the much cheaper, uh, but costs about two-thirds the other one, uh, base version. The base version does not come with a camera. There is no camera on this quadcopter um, per the stock version, but with that in mind, you can trick it out, which I did here, you know. Uh, you'll see that I've already added a, a Mini Mobius to it, since this, this quadcopter has a heck of a lot of lifting power to it. It's a very powerful quadcopter, so you can add other features to it. I also even added an FPV screen. But what is special about the XKX300 is that it has this optical sensor in the belly, which enables it to maintain hover, even in the wind. And I got a slight breeze here today. That's another reason up, up here in Indio Wells Canyon here, because this is usually a breezy area. I wanted to demonstrate its uh, ability to uh, use its position hold to maintain position, even on in a windy day, you know, with, a, with some wind. And we're gonna do that today. As I mentioned, I did trick this out. Um, <laughs> I got here my uh, all-in-one FPV camera. I think this is my MC01 camera. It's attached to a 3.7-volt battery, which is just Velcro to the top. And on the bottom here, I got my mini Mobius camera, uh, 1080p. I got it set to 1080p, 30 frames per second, since this thing flies for so long. Uh, the XK X300 flies for close to 15 minutes, or over 15 minutes, I believe. Very long flyer, in other words. So. Um, Recording at 60 frames per second would take forever for me to upload to YouTube, so we're going to record at 30 frames per second with that camera. Let's go over again the uh, features of the transmitter to refresh our memory from the previous review I did. Uh, this button here is for, if in the 5.8 gigahertz version, it's for selecting uh, the different frequencies, but if you hold it down for two seconds, this does have headless mode, and you can activate it by just holding it down for two seconds. Uh, if you want to do flips, and this does do flips very well, you press this button here and tell it which direction to flip. And you can go with beginner, intermediate, expert rate by pressing that button there. And it does automatic takeoff and landing by holding this button down here. I had problems with my other one that didn't want to do automatic takeoff and landing, but we'll try it with this one and see if it works. So that's about it, folks. Let's go right into the flight. I'll hook up all the uh, cameras, get them going, my mini Mobius and that, and we'll go right into a flight. So hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, I'm recording video both with my uh, DVR VR2 D2 goggles or VR D2 goggles, which has a built-in video recorder. Let me adjust the antennas. I'm going to set my flat panel antenna up and down this road here, since we'll, use, we'll fly out in that direction for a good distance. And I got cameras, uh, the Mini Mobius recording. Let's go do an automatic takeoff and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Holding down for two seconds, and there it goes. Will it hold its position? That's the question. Got a wind coming from the right. I ain't doing anything. Let's see how well it holds that position with the wind. We're gonna do that first off. The wind's buffeting it, but it is holding its position. Surprisingly enough. <laughs> Let's go up a little bit higher. My wife's down the road there. Let's go down the road and say hello. Now, position hold doesn't work while you're traveling forward. You have to come to a stop first off before the position hold will actually work. Wife and dog. <laughs> and let's go off over the, the hill here. And we'll climb up a bit too. Now this quadcopter can be a very fast flyer, surprisingly fast flyer, flying sideways. <laughs> okay, flying forward again. <laughs> Let's try something. We're going to go get some speed and do a flip. <laughs> Let's go up this way now. 
yeah, that wind is pretty strong today, but it's able to fight it. I'm going to go to a higher rate because of that. Intermediate. And coming around this way now. So, you know, all in all, this is a good quadcopter. People are poo-pooing it already because that um, 5.8 gigahertz version is kind of costly. I, I got to admit that. But this one here, you know, the base model, it is a powerful quadcopter. It is a fast quadcopter, as you can see right now. Let's come down a little lower and demonstrate its features, <laughs> its ability to fly. Reduce the throttle. Going back upwind again. Yeah, that wind is picking up. We'll go upwind a bit. And then come around. Get some speed up. <laughs> Very maneuverable quadcopter. Do I got a higher rate? Let's find out here. Oh yeah. Super expert. Didn't seem to increase the pitch much, but it sure increases the yaw rate. Let's get down low here. Okay, let's go back to seeing about it holding its position. Going back to low rate. Fighting the wind a bit, coming down lower. And let's put it over us right about and bring it to a stop right about there. Let's see if it holds its position. Oh, no, it's not holding its position now. Come on, you can do it. Well, I'm trying to fight this wind and uh, it's not fighting the wind to hold the position. You can see it drifting backward, drifting backward. You know, I push it forward into the wind, but it's not doing it. It's going at a higher rate. I'll tell you what. Let's land it again. Let's do the automatic landing. Let's see it land itself. And let's do the automatic takeoff again and see if it holds its position. Automatic takeoff. Well, obviously not. <laughs> so, it worked the first time. This time it's not. It's not able to fight the, uh, the wind. Maybe I need to uh, calibrate its gyros. Let's land it one more time. Hold on. And we're gonna do a gyro cal. Gyro calibration. Uh, that way and both ways for headless mode and for gyros. Okay, let's do a takeoff again. And the wind is coming up the hill here, about five knots. Nope. So keep in mind, if the wind, there's some part of a wind, it really has a bit of a hard time fighting it. It's trying. I can see it trying to fight it. Well, there. Finally, it's it stopped itself, but it's not in, you know entirely effective. It's hovering now. Okay, what haven't we done? Headless mode. Let's go up a little bit higher and try headless mode. Press the headless mode button. We're in headless mode, pushing forward and turning it back toward me. Going up a little bit higher. Trying to left, forward, left, I was going right before, right, and now let's turn it to show we are in headless mode, turning to the right, turning to the left, forward, going upwind and coming out of headless mode. So headless mode does work. I didn't get a chance to demonstrate that the last time I flew this. Okay, we'll go up a little bit higher now. So yeah, that feature of uh, being able to hold its position, it works if there's low wind. If there's wind, it doesn't do a, a great job. 
It works on a low wind day. So we'll go upwind out to about there. We're going to let the wind blow this back to us. Right about there. We're about 100 meters out. Turning the quad toward us. And letting the wind blow it by. This is the wind, by the way, folks. And it's coming up this hill here. I wish I brought my glider today. This would have been a great day to fly the glider here. <laughs> my uh, R959. It's pointing toward me. And then the wind dies down. <laughs> okay, let's get back to showing its acrobatic ability. We're going to come down low and fast. And we're going to go parallel to the canyon. I don't know why I did that. I did three rolls, or three flips. I just wanted to do one. Try it again. There we go. But it is a long flyer, I'll give you that. Lights are still strong and steady. Going upwind again. I'm going to climb and gain some altitude. And do a rotate. Oh, let's come down this way. That's going the wrong way, folks. I want the wind to blow it directly back toward me. <laughs> now that I got in the wind. <laughs> One over here. Stopping it there, and then rotating. Rotating, rotating, rotating. Now oh, it's gotten the wind again. That's a strong wind it's got now. <laughs> you get these gusts of wind that just hit us. Hit this thing and it takes it away. Long flyer. <clears throat> I'm going back to intermediate rate. <clears throat> Sorry. It's trying to lift it up. There was an updraft there. Got to fight that updraft. Cutting the throttle back big. This is an ultimate challenge for this thing flying on this ridge line right here because of the wind and the uplifting wind that's coming here. <laughs> I know that wind's going to blow back toward us. Here it comes. That's the wind. <laughs> Going back out again. It does flip very well, by the way. Those of you who've seen the other review can testify to that. Yeah, I guess this one's running about 100, a little under 100, and the other one with all the 5.8 gigahertz system adds another 50 bucks to it. And I, like I said, you know, I don't see the reason for doing that when you can throw an all-in-one camera on there. And even that Mini Mobius, you can attach a, a, a little, they got micro um, transmitters, 5.8 gigahertz transmitters that'll plug right into that Mobius. In fact, I should have demonstrated that today. That would have been great. <laughs> How's the lights? They're still doing good. So we'll go down this way for a bit. And turn around, come back up out of the, this way. Along the ridge line. It's fast. I'll give you that. Going down that way. Turning around, coming back again. It's a fast thing. Let's give it a little lower.
Boom. <laughs> Good quadcopter for flying. It's it's maneuverable. It's fast. It's got a long flight time. Those are its good features. Um, position hold on a windy day, I guess, doesn't work as well. But on a less windy day, it works very well. But again, you know, I wanted to see how it would work with wind. Also, it's altitude hold, how that works with the wind. It's, it's okay. Let's see if it holds its position. Well, it's holding its position now. <laughs> I don't know what the deal was before, but the wind is coming up this hill and it's holding it. I ain't doing anything, folks. While well, it's doing that, let me go back and check my uh, FPV video, make sure it's still recording. Oh yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> so we got FPV video. Well, that's good. Well, let's take it up a little higher and see see how high we can go before it loses that position hold. Going up a little bit higher, we're about 10 feet or so, about 12 feet. I'm going up a little higher. I'm guessing about 15 feet, and it's getting a little sluggish, or but it's still holding because the wind is blowing. Let's go a little bit higher, about 20 feet. We're about 20 feet up and it's still holding its position, which is good. I don't know why it wasn't doing that before, what, what the deal was, but it's doing a great job right now. Let's go up a little bit higher. We'll take it up to about, I'd say about 25 feet right now, and there we go. 25 feet seems to be about the uh, limit. I'm guessing right about there was about 25 feet, about four times my, uh, over a little bit over four times my height. <laughs> so. About 25 feet seems to be the limit. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if it'll do it again. I'm going to bring it in again one more time. See if that position hold works. We're going to bring it, bring it to a stop right about there. See if we can get it to lock on to something. It will lock on. The wind is blowing, but it's drifting a bit. Okay. It's locked on now, and now it's landing. <laughs> Which tells me that's the flight time. <laughs> there we go. So, um, before we, before I forget, let me, <laughs> so, off you go. So that's the flight time also, folks, of the XK X300. Um, I don't know why it wasn't holding its position earlier, but toward the end there, it was working, working well. So. Uh, again, this is a powerful quadcopter, very fast, very maneuverable. Um, it's just that um, that optical sensor sometimes works, sometimes does not. So keep that in mind, folks. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.